Hey everybody, we're going to look at some really cool impulse responses today. These were recorded by a student of mine uh, quite a few years ago now, but I still use them pretty much every time I use Logic. I really like them quite a bit now. The original unit was the Lexicon 960L. This is the controller for it. This is the, the back of the body. Looks like we're missing the top picture there. But here is what the original price was when it was available here. fifteen Over $15,000 for a reverb unit. Now, this still goes for, if you look on eBay, uh, over $8,000. Um, and you'll see some $9,000. I don't see any other ones. But so eight to ten thousand dollars for this unit still if you're buying it used online it's an amazing reverb unit uh, the reverbs here are pretty famous and they're really great sounding anyway a student of mine had this unit and they decided to sell it but before they sold it they went through and did impulse response uh, of each of the default patches so just the presets now of course you have to realize that with uh, a unit like this so much can change depending on the settings you make so these are really just a snapshot of the default patches but he went through and actually did this now this is a technique which you can actually do if you have logic because included with logic as a part of space designer is the impulse response utility so you can actually come in here and choose all kinds of things we get to do an input and output it does a sine wave sweep and that when it gets recorded back into this uh, utility essentially measures the space that you're playing the sound and recording it in and creates an impulse response which then you can use inside Space Designer. Now, the other place you can actually find this, if you come in to your applications here, and under Logic, Show Package Contents, I think it's in here. So it's right inside here, Impulse Response Utility. That's where the app actually lives out in the Finder. So what he did then was give me a file with all of those in it. And right now it's on my desktop. Let's see if we can make this bigger. So it's all inside this folder. And of course, uh, one thing that I love about these is just how interesting it is to see the space designer using an impulse from a great source it really changes it because a lot of the default impulse responses in space designer um, I don't know where they all come from but some of them are better than others and some are actually quite bad and I think that oftentimes we assume that because they're part of that that they're all going to be great but the Space Designer plugin is only as good as the impulse responses. So, for instance, let's load one of these drum plates. And you'll see the actual impulse out here. But there are so many different things. Large wood rooms, and I'll have some information there about it in the name. And these sound good on drums, they sound good on acoustic instruments like pianos.
awesome, awesome impulse responses based off of one of the best, most classic reverb units ever. Anyway, what I hope to show here is a few things. One, that you can load any impulse responses that you want. Plus, you can load an impulse response plus um, the initial one as well. That is referring to if you have a sine, uh, a sine wave sweep goes up and down through the range. If you record that in a space and have the original, you can load them both and it will make the impulse right here. It will deconvolve it. Or we can use the impulse response utility. So these are all available. And um, what I want to do is, if anyone's interested and has a place that I can upload these, I'm not going to host server space and, and do that for this, but if you really are interested in getting a copy of these, let's go out and I'll show you how big they are. So here's the folder. The whole folder is under a gig. It's 912 megabytes. And I don't know if compressing it actually is going to suck too much out of that. Let's let's check it out here in a second. But if you want if you want to copy these, uh, send me a message and send me a place where I can upload these for you. And you can use them. They're amazing. They're great on projects. Like I said, I don't use the default uh, any more for Space Designer. I'm only using these on all my projects. So, uh, in addition to other reverb units. But for Space Designer, this is where it's at for me. Oh, and the final size is a lot smaller. So, it's just 184 megabytes when it's all compressed. Okay, that's it.